Hi, Rosendale. It's finally summer. Today we're taking a stroll through Rosendale, visiting restaurant owners with outdoor patios. What does your business do and what should a customer expect when visiting your business? It's a full service restaurant. I mean, at the end of the day, my job and everyone's job in the building is to anticipate the customer's needs. Um, that's how I was trained and that's, that's how I run it. What is something that customers are surprised by when they come visit? We do live music on Thursdays. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, and we just started doing live music on Friday nights out on the patio. So we'll do like a duo or a trio out in the patio. Uh, Friday night starts around 6.30, 7.30. Uh -huh. The live music inside is every Thursday from 8.30 to right. 11, 11.30. What should someone expect on a summer night here out on your patio? All right, when you come out on the patio in the summertime, especially a nice night, night like last night. Last night was a very nice night, not too hot. Um, what's good about it is that when you do enter it, you, you hear the noise of all the other restaurants. It's not just one restaurant out right. here, it's three. Um, which is actually a great thing. For instance, we opened July 4th a couple of years ago on a Saturday, and we were the only one open. And that was a weird feeling, being the only restaurant open. Uh -huh. So having all these restaurants and the buzz of the restaurants, people waiting for each one to sit down outside, um, that is something that I like. Sometimes the Thursday night music that we do inside, we bring it out on the patio. Mm -hmm. um, like I mentioned before, we're doing music out here on Friday nights. Some some kids from like Berkeley, some kids from the um, Boston Conservatory. Nice. Okay. Um, they busk, so they put a tip jar out there, and that's how okay. they make their make their living. And that tends to be going very well. So you know, hearing the music of each restaurant and the people at each restaurant, and um, it's something but you don't see anywhere anywhere else. Because I think when you go to a lot of restaurants, it's their patio. Right. You know, it's just mm -hmm. that singular restaurant's patio. Whereas here, it's it's a the buzz of three different patios. Right, right. And it's nice because it's kind of the courtyard it, back here. You know, it's, it's contained. There's no yeah. traffic going by. Right. You don't hear the buzz of cars. You're not you're not sitting on someone's sidewalk, uh, which I like. Uh, I mean, I like that you're not sitting on someone's sidewalk. Uh, you know, it's I don't know. It's it's actually funny sometimes that you. You'll, you'll see a customer at another restaurant and then you, that customer will be at your restaurant and then you can see all sorts of different people that kind of frequent all the restaurants yeah, around that's here. Great. That's great. Which I like. Yeah. What does your business do? Uh, we are a neighborhood bar and restaurant, and we have American fare um, and craft cocktails, uh, craft beers, a lot of New England, local New England beers. A lot going on with that now. Um, the cocktails, I'm, I'm the cocktail end part of it, and uh, I pretty much stick to uh, classics that we put a twist on. You know, like Gimlet's, Old Fashioned's, Manhattan's, and then we'll just put a twist on it. Um, what should a customer expect when visiting um, your business? Friendly people, um, really, really good food, and excellent cocktails, basically. <laughs> what is something um, that customers are surprised by when they come in? Uh, well, it's sometimes the patio. They just think it's that small space in there, and then they realize that this is here also, and, and events out here uh, sometimes we have live music mm -hmm. uh, on Wednesday nights, and we have a raw bar, uh, a bucket shock for oysters, uh, and that's what surprising. They're pleasantly surprised they could pay a dollar for oysters on Thursdays. Oh, that's on Thursday. Um, okay. Uh, so the, I guess the little events that we do uh, on the patio, mm -hmm. it's a pleasant surprise. Do you do private events? We do. Uh, we like to do them in the afternoons on weekends since we're closed. Uh, we've done, we did a wedding reception last week. Uh, depending on the weather, so uh, sometimes we have to get a tent uh -huh. if it's more than 40 to 50 people or nobody can fit inside, we can get a tent outside. Oh, that really? hasn't happened yet because okay. the weather has been awesome. Mm -hmm. so. so will you be offering, so your hours are just... 
uh, evenings. Yeah, every night from five to ten, the kitchen's open, and the, and the the bars open a little later, especially on the weekends, mm -hmm. and if the weather's nice. What about on the weekends during the day? Uh, we are planning on, uh, hopefully soon, uh, for brunch. Uh, and that'll probably be like from nine to three, um, okay. maybe ten to three. Uh -huh. But um, that's in the works. Uh, it's been Good in the works know. for a while. Is that Saturday, Sunday, or just? We're Sunday? thinking just Sunday at first, first? and then okay. might move to Saturday, Sunday, see how it goes. But you know, I think there's uh, room for us to do brunch, and um, it's just basically getting the staff together, mm -hmm. uh, all on board, and it should be great. Lots of Bloody Marys, lots of eggs, uh, great drinks. What does your business do? Well, I mean, we, we're a restaurant, but that being said is that, um, you know, I like to say we create an experience so that people come in. Uh, what happens here? Um, that you think most people don't know about? The, the, the preparation, the things that happen. Behind the be, scenes. Behind the scenes. Like everybody, say, they, they say to me, they go, oh my God, you, know, you work from like, like five to 10, isn't that great? And I was like, well, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it's all the preparation and it, but you know, it's funny because my mom would drop by every once in a while and like at two or three o'clock and just hang out and she'd like, she said it, she said something to me. She goes, oh my God, Joe, this is just like a show. It's like, you know, and when five o'clock, the curtain comes up. And that's exactly what, like the same, same thing I feel. What do you think um, about other businesses in the square? Well, they're all great. I think there's a, a, definitely a community kind of feeling about it. I mean, I get, I get my steaks from Tony. I get my bread from Fornax. And we all work together. We all, you know, we go to the other restaurants. Um, you know, um, I don't get to go out too much, but my <laughs> wife goes to 753 and Steve comes over here mm -hmm. and, you know, I get my sandwiches during the day at Four and Axe or mm -hmm. at Blue Star. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's great. And, they, and every, everybody, everybody gets along. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a nice, nice scenario. And this courtyard and it's very... <laughs> well, I, th I, think, I think the courtyard in general is a microcosm of, of, of the larger part of Rosendale. I mean, you know, you've got, you know, uh, three restaurants sharing, retail shops sharing. I think that's really what it makes, makes it special. Yeah. I mean, when people come down, they, they come down and it's so funny because, <laughs> like, I see the first time that people come down, even like we've been open for 13 years, yeah. and they walk down the alley, and then people take them down an alley. Right. Yeah. And they come down the alley and they see this piazza open up. Right. And I think that's that's not typical. And they go, oh my God, we found this hidden gem. Well, it's not really that hidden. But anyway, <laughs> that, that being said, um, you know, the having these these spaces share the same piazza is is not typical in Boston. Pretty much anywhere. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please click subscribe to see more videos on Rosendale Village Main Street. Mm -hmm.